Hi, honey. I have another book for you, and it's a book that um, your auntie gave to you, I think, for Christmas. It's called Puff the Magic Dragon, and auntie wrote a little note for you. It says, For Luna, your auntie loves you very much. It's a really big book. On the inside, it says, For my most darling niece, Auntie. Puff the Magic Dragon. Hope you can see the whole thing. It's a huge book. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Little Jackie Paper loved that rascal Puff and taught, brought him strings and sealing wax and other fancy stuff. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the Magic Dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Together they would travel on a boat with billowed sail. Jackie kept a lookout perched on Puff's gigantic tail. Noble kings and princes would bow wherever they came. Pirate ships would lower their flag when Puff roared out his name. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. A dragon lives forever, but not so little girls and boys. Painted wings and giant's rings make way for other toys. One gray night it happened, Jackie Paper came no more. And Puff that mighty dragon, he ceased his fearless roar. His head was bent in sorrow, green scales fell like rain. Puff no longer went to play along Cherry Lane. Without his lifelong friend, Puff could not be brave. So Puff, that mighty dragon, sadly slipped into his cave. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Puff the magic dragon lived by the sea and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. It's a really pretty book and I bet Grandma Debbie can find on YouTube the song Puff the Magic Dragon and you can learn how to sing it. And then you can sing it when I turn the pages in the book. Maybe you can work on that for next time when I see you and you can sing and I can turn the pages. Doesn't that sound like fun? I will see you soon, my dear. I love you, pumpkin.